Hey guys, Prince of Macedon here. We are going to do a live commentary video for Total War Attila. And this will be a legendary difficulty battle for a historical battle. As you can see, there's two more historical battles left. After I finish these off, I do intend to move on to the multiplayer. I've been saying that quite frequently. So there's Swison and there's Ravenna. We're going to do Ravenna. This will be my, my second attempt trying to beat this level. It's a siege battle. It should be easy. Um... So let's read the description here. The Herulians, a Germanic federati of the Western Roman Empire, demanded that a third part of Italy should be divided amongst them. The request was denied by Orestes, causing a revolt. Leading the Germanic tribe, Odoacer defeated Orestes near Piacenza and then moved to attack Ravenna, the capital of Italy. So we're going to do some legendary action. Now let's talk about the, the historical background just a little bit more. Those two um, historical figures they mentioned, Orestes and Odoacer. All right, so... Orestes, he was an, he was actually, he was a Roman, right? But he served Attila the Hun. He was a secretary. But when Attila the, Attila the Hun died in 453 AD, he uh, went westward and he offered up his services to the uh, Western Roman Emperor. And he was so good at what he did, he eventually became the supreme commander of the Western Roman army. And it is said that Orestes was of Germanic descent. Not sure how much, but there is some Germanic blood in him, apparently. And uh, this guy used his his power as supreme commander to overthrow the Western Roman Emperor, and he put his son, Romulus Augustulus, on the throne of the Western Roman Empire. Augustulus meaning little Augustus, in honor of Augustus, but they called him little because he was basically a kid, perhaps too, too young to be ruling. So basically the power was all with Orestes. So, now the other guy... Odoacer. It's not known what his origins are. There's two conflicting uh, theories. One is that he is Hunnic, Hunnic, and the other is that he's Germanic. The reason why a lot of people think he's Hunnic is because his father's name was Edico, and in the Chronicles, there was an Edico who served Attila the Hun, and he was the Hun himself. But uh, there's some other scholarship that says that Ed the Edico was a... You know, that name was, wasn't was you know just that one Hunnic guy. It could have been another dude. So, so some people think he's a Germanic. Anyways, this guy, Odoacer, he served as a captain in Orestes' army. And uh, he was a captain of the Herulians. And these guys came to regret the fact that, you know, that the Visigoths had, were given land by the Romans in France. So these guys wanted the same thing in Italy. The Herulians wanted land in Italy. And Orestes said no. And uh, when he said no... Odoacer had him murdered, and they they overthrew his son. But instead of executing his son, Odoacer just banished him to uh, or exiled him to Naples, which was pretty pretty lenient given the times. You know, you would think execution would be a more common practice, but no. Um, either he took pity on Romulus Augustulus and uh, spared his life, or he just didn't consider him a real threat. So anyways, after Odoacer got rid of the sun and killed Orestes, uh, these guys ended up in Ravenna, and now they're trying to finish the job. They're going to take Ravenna. Let's get these guys off the wall here. Alright, so first order of business. Let's, let's move these, these guys. Now, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like this is the only effective uh, part where your catapults can be effective, because... Anywhere else, they're going to be facing another direction. Like, let's say I put them here. Look at this. They're facing the sea. And you, I don't think there's a way you can uh, spin them around. If there is, I just don't know how to do it. So we're going to move these guys over here. In the event that they come around, which which I don't think they will. Now, let us think of a battle plan here, shall we? Well, let's put my general up here. I want him leading the defense of the Heartland. We're going to put some uh, border guards. Actually, let's put the Palatina right here. And... I think I could put guys here. I'm afraid if I put a guy here, they're just going to target with the artillery and just destroy it. I don't know. Let's go for this point, actually. 
We will put a Preventores here. No, let's put this guy. The Elite Palatina. No, no. Yeah, this guy. So yeah, in Attila, you can take these, uh... These things. These barricades, you can put your men on there, and it makes them a lot harder to take through a direct charge. Alright, now I'm gonna put all my... My skirmishers over here. I'm just gonna defend this uh, town square. Perfect. I guess that's as good as it gets, I guess. Let's put the archers over here, too. Like, I just want to murder his guys as they, they come up here. Oh, that's perfect. See that? That's better. Can I move them forward? Good. I like that. I got these guys. Funatores are slingers. I can put them up here, too. Can I stretch him? I get enough, right? Get enough. All right, so these guys, I'm gonna put them over here. All right, I want these guys over here. My Cornutis. Sorry, this is gonna take a while. I just wanna make sure I do this right. Don't wanna play this siege battle again, to be honest. I really don't. Are we all in place now? Nope, there's still another sword unit. Let's put him over here. Wait, let's put these guys back over here. Sorry, I'm... It's hard keeping track of these units. Now, now the cavalry, these guys can be very useful, I think. I'm just going to use these guys to charge the hell out of these dudes. Like, non-stop charging, if I can. Oh, wait a minute, I can take this. Look at that. Let's do that. There we go. That's a bit more useful. So they can hold pretty long, I think. Like that. Alright, are we all in place now? Do we all have a task? These guys should be over here, I think. Wait, did I move all my artillery? Yep. Alright, sorry I took so long. But, you know, deployment is... That's basically... Uh, on a siege battle, that's that's a huge part of, a, of this battle, I think. Oh yeah, I, I left these guys here to intimidate the enemy. Either that, or I just completely didn't see him. Let's go with that. I completely didn't see him. Let's put him over here. I'm gonna swing him back over here. Towards this defense right here. How did I not see him? What the hell? Oh no, the walls are breached and the tower has been destroyed. A breach. The walls are compromised. Once more onto the breach. Cry havoc, my friends. Alright, let's go see if we can find Odawacker here. Oh look. I effed up, I didn't even target with my artillery, and my artillery's already dead. 
Alright, here's the general unit. It's a Germanic noble. Letter K this action. What do you think it is? They don't look too too different. This guy right here is he's wearing chainmail. No one's giving commands right now, so I can't tell. Oh well. I like this view, to be honest, without the uh, the flags. The problem with um, taking with the flags is you have no idea what's going on. Like you can you can barely see your troops. You can zoom in like this. It's still hard to see what's going on though. So it's an essential thing that you have your flags on. Capture points. They get a battlefield wide morale bonus. It's not worth it. Alright, anyways, my archer is getting in position here. That's good. I don't know about my slingers. Do I... I'll put my slinger somewhere else. Should I put him on the wall? Let's do it. Let's put my slingers over there. Yeah, I think my Western Auxiliary Palatina can hold this pretty well. I'll just be a little weary if I'm if I'm going up against swords, but in the event that swords come to attack that barricade, then I've got these guys ready to just charge in. Contaria. Oh, oh. Scouts. What are my scouts gonna do? I don't know. I mean, I'm liking my my setup here. It seems pretty foolproof. While we're waiting, let's go look for my commander. Oh, not these guys. These guys. Let her K this action. Alright, I'm assuming it's this guy with a cloak. See him? This guy? He's got a little, uh, what, fibula holding his cloak there? That must be him. Alright, cool. Very cool. Let her K that, or let her un-K that action. So yeah, my artillery is pretty much useless in this battle. I'm so happy. So anyways, um, yeah, I got all these skirmishers up here, so when he comes even close to this point, his guys are going to get rained upon. Like, there's going to be so much hell when he comes up here. I need to push these guys a little bit farther. Double time! At speed! At the double! Advance at speed! At the double! About face! And depending on what's leading uh, the charge up this ramp, I'm either going to have my spears in the front or my swords. And I got my general backing everybody up. Yeah, I don't want to lose my general. Like, as I keep saying, losing your general in these historical battles is not, is typically not good. Unless you can kill the enemy commander beforehand, or at the same time. Otherwise, you're playing with fire. Fire! Well, while we're here, we can talk more about the history here. Oh, look at this. I think my my towers are shooting at these guys, my keeps. Um, but yeah, Romulus Augustulus, he was the last emperor of the the last Roman emperor of the West, the Western Roman Empire. And you know, at first people didn't really like notice, like I mean, they didn't really take notice that you know, oh no, this emperor is gone, oh no, because this kind of thing happened before. You know, th there's been gaps in the succession before. But it wasn't until much later, like decades later, that they realized that, hey, that guy, Romulus Augustulus, he was the last Roman emperor. Woe is us. Woe is us. Those guys are all gonna die. Freaking Odawacker. I'm gonna Odawack this guy's head. 
So yeah, um, the artillery is pretty much uh, not doing anything. I mean, they, they took out my walls and they took out one of my artillery pieces, but they're not even hurting my my men here, so I don't care. I can do what I want. All right. To the window. To the wall. This guy's going right down. Look at that. It's a freaking uh, Germanic parade here. We've got the noble Germanic dudes, Germanic spears. Uh, goth thirsty spear masters. It's only they're master of getting speared. Come close to my walls, my friends. I invite it. Well, this unit looks tough. Germanic horsemen? I got to gang up on them to take them out. Get a good charge in. Yeah, they're like parading right down the center here. What are these? Those are just raiders, so they're just going to skirmish. I think I take out his, this cavalry unit right there. Nope, he's moving away. Oh, look at those couches they've taken already. I can take them. Look at these guys about to bite it. Oh, he's got more dudes coming down here. Alright. Let's go for these Germanic Raiders first. Oh! Smacked! Oh, I lost, I lost my swords, too? What? Are you kidding me? That guy's asking for trouble right there. Holy cow. Let's put these guys on this barricade. In case those cavalry units come by. What was he doing with this guy? He just freaking kamikaze them. His Germanic Raiders? Wow. Don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I'm happy. Should be an easier kill now. I can't believe my, my sword just disappeared like that. Wow. I need to kill that general. Like, you have no idea. Let's get these guys over here. Come up here, man. Come up, Brawl. Come at me. Yeah, see how they're all clustered like this? I want to. That's perfect. I want to get right there and just come in from behind and take them all out. Let's inspire my men to fight longer. Actually, that's a waste. Oh, there. Let's target the general. Let's assassinate him now. It's not really who I, who I wanted to target, but okay. Break the lines. All right, these guys can come in from behind. These guys too can come in from behind. These guys too can come in from behind. See this big glob of dudes? Oh, there's a general. Let's smash at these guys first. I don't have a choice. Oh, my general's gonna bite it. Is he? No, that's not my general. That would suck my my general bit it right now. I mean that could very well happen. Here goes the charge from behind. Let's take these dudes out. That general's getting hacked right now. Oh, his general's coming back to defend. Oh, if he does that, that's a better target for my men. I like it. 
Look at that. All my guys are just shooting the hell out of him. Why are these guys still fighting? I'm gonna ride, ride right through these guys and try to charge him. These guys need to get up there too. Alright, there are some flags blinking. There's a lot of flags blinking, actually. There's some uh, depleted uh, elite dudes coming in. The only thing that could happen right now to hurt me is get my general killed. I guess I these guys around. Let's try to save my cavalry. Oh, my general is going to go down, I think. Kill that commander, man! Enemy general is dead! Yes! Of course, my general is going to go next, too. Unless I lose my general, which is probably going to happen. There goes my general! My general's dead, guys. Don't know if you caught that. Is he dead? I guess my general survived that. I mean, his men retreated, but they're still fighting. We gotta gangbang these guys. That's all there is to it. Oh, actually, we need to shoot these guys. Those Germanic dudes. These spearmasters are really tough, and they're killing all my guys right now. Please break, guys. Come on. Engage. Yes. Shoot the hell out of that dude. Come on. So he has uh, those archers units. They're pretty... They haven't taken any damage yet. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to deal with them. I have to shoot him to death, I guess. There's my commander. No, that's not the commander. That's my commander. That's that's their commander. Alright, I need to shoot these guys before they get up here. Let's kite. Just because I can. Ooh, they're breaking. They're breaking. I'm being shot though. That sucks. Let's find those archers back there. I wonder if I'm in my town square my guys won't break, maybe? I hope. Now they're being shot hardcore right now. Let's target these guys. I really need to kill these guys. It, they keep teasing that they're gonna break. Finally they break, holy cow. Let's charge those bastards. Like, we'll let my archers keep them in place. Are they running away? He still has catapult over there. Oh man. I gotta chase those guys out of here. 
They're not. They're just running away. Those freaking cowards. You cowards! Oh, there you go. You're being shot now. You can't go this way, my friend. This is a dead end for you. Like, literally. There you go. Now they're breaking. Now they're breaking. Ravenna is held. Suck it. Victory is ours. The revolt has failed. That's right. Revolt has failed. We can uh, bring back Romulus Augustulus. We are moments away from victory. I thought... Uh, yeah, it is over. So let's talk about the history after this. I mean, I already pretty much said it. Yeah, Romulus Augustulus was the last Roman emperor. So he got he got taken out, or he got exiled. And then this guy took over. Oh, <laughs> look, my name's Paul. No, um, Odoacker took over. And... And when Odoacker took over, that was the beginning, or that was the end of Roman, like the Roman, you know, role in Rome. It soon became a Germanic Roman emperor, basically. And uh, back in the East, I think it was the Zeno or somebody, the Eastern Roman Empire, they weren't too sad. I mean, because they could always plan an invasion of the, the West, you know, you know, hint, hint. And... Plus, Orestes himself, he wasn't really... He was a usurper, too, so it didn't really bother them that, that much, I guess. But, you know, they still wanted to reclaim the West for, for Rome. But, anyways, I think Paul, that is uh the brother of Orestes. I know that sounds kind of odd to see in Paul. That's like seeing Odawacker's brother as being Bob. Anyways, let's go look at my sweet little star here. For Ravenna, there it is, Bam! Got my sweet legendary star for Ravenna. One last, just one last historical battle. That's Swesson. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this historical battle. Ravenna, on legendary.